Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books, and I'm here in my bookstore in the back room. It is Thursday, February 17th, 2022. I wanted to share with you selling Asian language DVDs and CDs on eBay. So I've been selling on eBay for almost five years now. April will be five years. And I've sold quite a lot of um, Asian language CDs and DVDs. So this is mostly Chinese, okay, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and um, Vietnamese. Those are the four big ones. Uh, and often when you come through or when you go through a bulk buy or especially Gaylords, you will see something like this. I mean, not all stacked up, but let's see if I can get this in the shot without it falling. You will see stuff like this. I'll show them individually, but these are all, these are all ones that I still have up for sale on eBay. And often what you'll see is, let's see if this one has it. My wife is a gangster. You'll see it in English underneath the, um, the other language. And we have pretty woman. Women, sorry, pretty women. And that's often the only thing in English, other than numbers. And then here we have the Soong sisters. What is this? That's something different. That's okay. Where's another one? Oh, here we go. This one's called Yo Yo Love You. Um, yo yo TV, and again, it's all in another language. And this one here, does this have it? There's this one. Oh, it's called Out of Competition, I guess. Oh, I guess so. Out of Competition, I don't know, but here's another one. I have two of those. Um, anyway, so, so those are examples of some that I currently have sitting up on eBay, but I have sold many over the years, and I just sold one today, which is why this made me think of this. It is called, is it called Good News? Yes, it's called Good News, it's Japanese. And this one has eight video CDs. So often what it'll say is VCD right here. You can see that, hopefully you can, VCD. And that means um, video CD. So it's just basically a DVD. It's just in a slightly different format. It's called something different. So these are movies, not CDs. Uh, as you can see on the back, clearly you can pretty much tell that it's a movie, not a CD. Um, this one has eight. Um, you see, and even says here, eight, uh, eight discs. This one says Japanese drama. So that was helpful. It doesn't always say that. Often, it, Oftentimes it's only in the other language, only in Japanese or whichever language it is. And so... Thankfully for this one, it does say it on there. And this one, let me show you what it sold for. So here it is. It just sold, um, I believe this morning. It sold for $21.99 plus shipping. $5 shipping. So I made 18 almost $19 off of this in profit. This came, I don't know where this came from. It doesn't have it on there. Um, it doesn't say it was from a Gaylord. So more than likely it was. But anyway, I believe, I believe it was from Gaylord. So twenty one ninety nine. And um, the thing about these, so clearly, if you don't speak any of those those languages, and it doesn't have anything in English, or it might just have um, the title and that's it, and you don't know which um, which language it is, I would suggest downloading the Google Translate app, and all you have to do is just point it. Um, you can actually have it detect a language. So you can point it at um, at the writing and then just have it scan everything. And then you can select what you want and it'll show you what the translation is. And then when you go back to the main screen, it'll tell you which language it is. So typically, like I said, it's Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or of course there's Vietnamese as well. Um, those are the big, the four big ones. I haven't really seen, you know, I haven't seen like Thai or Cambodian or other Asian languages. Uh, mostly those are, are the big four and mostly Chinese and Japanese with a little bit of Korean and some Vietnamese. Now, Vietnamese is its whole thing, whole separate thing that I found when I sell a bunch of CDs, for instance. 
Um, I've done DVDs as well, but when I've sold CD lots as an auction on eBay, uh, Vietnamese, yeah, Vietnamese language CDs, they do really well. Um, and so instead of instead of going through them one by one and trying to figure out what they are and sell them individually, I just put them in lots, and I've I got as much as like almost two hundred fifty dollars off of a uh, seven day auction that started at probably like ninety nine cents. Um, so keep that in mind that there's money in those as well. And again, you know, if you want to spend the time to go through them individually, you can do that as well, which is what I do with with some of these. Right now in this in the warehouse, I have stacked up um, Vietnamese CDs, which once I finish with the Gaylord, I will put into a lot and sell on eBay. And the other ones um, I've got stacked up into Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, and those are CDs. And uh, I'm still debating about whether I'm going to just sell them as a lot on eBay or actually try to look them up individually. So again, it's up to how much time you have, or how much time you want to put into it, but you can definitely find some money in those. Um, yeah, whether it's a CD or DVD or, or video CD, there's definitely, hold on one sec. There's definitely some money, um, potentially money to be had in those. Sometimes I found ones that are super rare, uh, CDs in particular. I've done actually better in general with, with the Asian language CDs than the DVDs. But again, if you have the translator, you can figure out who the artist or group is, and then you can look them up on Discogs or look it up on eBay to see if there's another one for sale. Uh, a lot of times these will be worth money. Not all the time, of course, but um, but definitely I've found some that they can go for really good money uh, over the years on eBay. And also another thing that happens with these a lot of times, if you scan the barcode, it won't come up. So you're going to have to look them up manually and try to figure that out. Now, this just falls into the category of whether or not you want to spend the time looking these things up. But again, if you're only coming across them occasionally, well, maybe that'll be worth it too. But um, if you're coming across them a lot, if you're buying in bulk, getting donations, that kind of thing. Uh, I know that in my experience, at least here in Southern California, when I buy Gaylords of Mixed Media, there's always Asian language CDs and DVDs in there, always. And these are legitimate ones, of course, I'm not talking about um, uh, ripped ones or uh, you know anything like that. These are, these are legit ones, because there's a, a huge, um, uh, you know, Asian speaking, or Asian language speaking population in, in Southern California. So there's lots of, lots of Japanese people, lots of Chinese people, lots of Korean, lots of Vietnamese. So there's a ton of these that end up getting donated to thrift stores and end up in these Gaylords. And I end up going through them and which means there's a big market. I mean, of course, all over the place for this kind of stuff. But a lot of times like this one that I just sold, a lot of times you, you, people will buy them locally or, or they'll live for me anyway, they'll live in Southern California. So this one that I'm selling is for a city that's not too far from where I am. Um, so that's common as well too. But, uh, you know, it's up to you. So it's kind of like the difference between, am I, you know, are you a scanner or or are you a scanner and a manual look up or <laughs> a person willing to look up things manually? It's the same thing for books. You know, some people only want to scan the barcodes and they don't even bother with anything else. But of course, they leave a lot of money on the table, but they look at it as I'm saving time because I'm just getting to all the stuff that has barcodes and that's much quicker. I don't care that I'm leaving money on the table. Uh, where other people, you know, like myself, over the years, I've evolved to get better at what is even worth looking up individually. And I don't look up everything that I get. Sometimes I just don't feel like it, don't have the time, don't have the energy, whatever it is. There's a lot of reasons, but I've gotten much better at it. For instance, I just got a book in that, um, oh, geez. Okay, I'm blanking, but it, but it's a... Uh, it, it looks to be a first edition, and it's in excellent condition. It's a book from 1966. Oh, The Valley of the Dolls, that's what it is. Uh, just yesterday, I picked up a bunch of books, and that was in there. And I can believe that the um, condition of the dust jacket, the actual book, and looking at the, at, the, um, at the publication, date says 1966. It doesn't say first edition, but I was looking it up on eBay. It appears to be the first edition. It's always a little tricky to tell. But anyway, that's an example of something that doesn't have a barcode. It's from the 60s that you have to look up manually. Um, and you have to at least, you know, either type it in or use your voice uh, to look it up on eBay uh, or look it up on eBooks, uh, try to figure out if it's the first edition, that kind of stuff.
But of course, there can be a lot of money. I mean, this book, it varies. It looks to, to vary. It could only go for 30 bucks, could go for a little more, could go for 50, 60 bucks. But to me, that's worth it. You know, if I sell it for even like 30 or 40 bucks and I just took a little bit of time to look it up. So it can be the same thing for the these types of Asian language CDs and DVDs, because of course, if you don't <laughs> speak the language or read the language, then then you're gonna have to look it up. But we have tools like Google Translate and like eBay and like uh, the internet in general to figure out what these things are. Um, and of course, the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's just creating a new skill. Uh, and then over time, you might even recognize some of the artists, the groups, um, you know, maybe even start to recognize, differentiate between the languages. So you know what you're looking up and what you're looking for. So it's just adding to the tool belt um, of, uh, you know, of the things, your arsenal, so to speak, of being able to pick these things out as you get new items donated, or as you buy in bulk, whatever your, your sourcing methods are. So to me, it makes sense to do that, but you know, to each their own. If it's already hard enough or not worth it in your mind to look up something in English, then chances are you're not gonna look something up in another language. And of course, Spanish is another huge one that if you spend time uh, looking up some of those that, that you can potentially find some money as well. So this is just a little tip, uh, a little idea that if you're not coming across this stuff, then it doesn't matter. But here in Southern California, there's a lot of it, a lot of it. So uh, it's worth it to look up some of that stuff and get familiar with it at least, try to make some money off of it. Because when I get a, a whole Gaylord, I'm trying to, I don't have to make money off of every single thing, but I try to come up with ways to monetize the majority of what's in there. Of course, if a disc is missing, the artwork is missing, you know, generally, unless it's a video game, which you can sell individual discs for certain video games, um, then it's not worth it. But most of it is there intact and you just have to be able to figure out whether it's worth selling, uh, worth trying to monetize. All right, guys, hopefully this helped you out a little bit, give you some ideas. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content where I talk about reselling books, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, video games, records on Amazon and eBay, as well as in my local store, then, then uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.